Phil and Jayboy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to put aircraft on your iPod Touch or iPhone. First where you're going to need to go is settings. Click the settings tool here. Then you're going to go into Wi-Fi. Then you're going to click on this bar here. And you're going to look for your IP address. Now, once you've written your IP address down, what you're going to do is you're going to download Aircrack from this website here. But the link will be in the description. After you've downloaded Aircrack and put that wherever you want to save it, download Cyberduck from CyberduckCH. Once you've got CyberDuck, it should look like this. But you're going to open up a new um, thing. And you're going to click on here. And the server's going to be your iPod's IP address. Now, once you've done that, Put in your iPod's IP address, you're going to put in root here, and you're going to put in alpine here. Once you've done all that, you're going to click on connect. But I've already got mine saved in favourites, the bookmarks here. So it should open up like this. What you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to find your aircrack file once you've unrad it um, you're going to put it in var here copy it into var but I've already done this so I'll click on cancel and once you've copied it to var you're going to set the permissions um, of aircrack to 755. This 755 is what works best with my iPod, but 777 might work with others, or 775. Once you've done that, you're going to download Terminal from Cydia. Once you've got Terminal from Cydia, you're going to open it and put in this code here but so it's going to be var air dash aircraft dash NG. This will be in the description. Space A dash space space dash A one. There's going to be another space before the one, and then space dash var dash aircraft. Dash T O U C H touch dot I V S. Now, once you've done that, you're going to hit return and it's going to say reading and it will do this. And it will be creating some keys and just throwing in random passwords into the nearest network target. And then it will show you the password at the bottom. Which you might want to copy or might not or just 
not do anything or just want to know how their crap works. But once it's done that, which usually takes about two minutes to do do it, cracking it work, putting in the code and all that. It should be done in a minute or two. Soon anyway. And then once it gets the code that it's found, it'll show you at the bottom. It usually takes a lot less time than this. Anyway. I'll just pause the video and then now it shows you the code here this is the key that you'll put into the nearest network well, anyway guys thanks for watching please rate five stars and do all that and subscribe for more videos and please watch it as many times as you can well, thanks for watching.